we are officially on the road for the 2023 season you know it's been a lot of work going into getting ready for the season lots of work recently in the past couple of days trying to pack everything make sure you didn't forget nothing it's extremely actually tough whenever you have back-to-back -back tournaments because you got to pack for two we're not going to be home in the middle at all so going down to florida a little bit early going to hang out with the guys from 13 we're going to do some filming just some fishing in florida where it's nice and warm and bigger fish than are around the house even though they're biting super super good on my small little local lakes i don't know if they are on y'all's or not but let me know are they biting on y'all small little local lakes but if you're from florida and you got a juice lake that's like going down right now leave me a comment and let me know where it is and i'll come over there and try to catch some but if you want to keep it a secret i get it that's what i would do but if there's anywhere that's really going off leave me a comment down there can't tell me anything about okeechobee which is where we're going for our first tournament but well we'll have probably a week or so to go down to florida and fish probably gonna hang out with buddy swindle a little bit hang out with some other guys from 13 and They'll get used to what's going on in Florida before we go down to Okeechobee. So Okeechobee's be a lot different than a lot of lakes we're going to fish. Okeechobee's kind of a lake all on its own. Like it is, it is its own animal. But we got a lot of stuff to do before we get to Okeechobee. Got to go get the boat wrap today. It's uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. Driving to go get the boat wrapped. Then we're going to go to Florida straight from there. So it should be good. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to get down there. Me and Hunter both love Florida. We have since we was, you know, younger than 21 going down there and playing poker. It's always been a real special place for me and for her. She always liked it a lot too, so should be a lot of fun. We got a little drive ahead of us though. First gas top of the season. Number one. Will not be the last. Won't be the last today. It's all right, though. It's what it takes. Pretty it was last year, wasn't it? Was like last year it was like four something. Well, whenever we started to see it, it was like 450, 470, something like that. Y'all, guess how much we spend in gas a year? <laughs> <laughs> in the boat and truck. Yeah, a bunch. Whole bunch. It's gonna film gas stops all around the country. Yeah. Is that gonna be our channel? No, this is gonna be how we keep track of receipts. Okay, I got you. So, <clears throat> Dave Portnoy, he does pizza challenges all over the country. I'm I'm testing the gas at every gas station all over the country. So what, one one pump? Well yeah. One pump. Everybody know the rules. Everybody knows the rules. One pump. Oh man. How's this one feel to you? This one's like a 4.28.01 out of 10. I hate. There's two points. In I there. hate whenever the little thing, like this thing, broke off, and you have to like stand there and hold it like a. You gotta put a water bottle in there or something, or yeah, it's always. I stand there and hold it. Yeah, I don't stand there and hold it. I, I'd be wedging stuff in there. <laughs> All right, man, we're almost there. We ain't got for 30, 40 minutes maybe. Wet, sloppy, nasty day. Is what it is. Do I? You like, you like Eminem and one of his music videos. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Chuka Chuka Slim Shady. Okay, Use I got the a right question. lane to take the I-20 East ramp. All right, what's up? The question is, east. so Seminole and Okeechobee is like back to back, right? Like, back to back. Literal yep. back to back. Yep. You stop one, start the other. What's going to be the biggest difference there? Like, what's the biggest difference in those two bodies of water? And how you're going to catch them? Seminole has a lot of offshore grass. Okeechobee has almost no offshore grass. A very, very, very small amount of offshore grass. So, a lot of different baits. Okeechobee's going to be more about so, similar baits. East for you know, miles. lipless crankbaits, vibrating jigs, flipping. All that stock type of stuff is going to be really good on both lakes. They'll be spawning some on Okeechobee. Not sure if they will be on Seminole yet, but they might be. Don't really know. There'll be a lot of similarities in the baits. A big difference in the depth you have to fish, the cover you're fishing. Okeechobee's gonna be a lot of reeds, Kissimmee grass, stuff like that. Seminole's gonna be a lot of submerged grass that you can't actually see. So 
that's gonna be the two major differences and where they are in the spawn on Okeechobee they've been spawning for well over a month maybe two months they've been spawning already and Seminole they've definitely not started yet or if they started it's like I don't think they've started yet so I think we'll be Seminole pre-spawn Okeechobee right in the middle of a spawn but in Florida they spawn for like four or five months so especially South Florida they spawn for just months and months and months and months like there's never I shouldn't say never there's usually not some huge wave that pulls up and there's like 200,000 of them on the bank it's like just a slow trickle and when the conditions get right you'll see a few more than normal but for the most part just a slow trickle of bass spawning in Florida is what it seems like okay so while you were answering that I thought of another question um so sometimes you get to a lake or we pull up to a lake and you're like this is how they're going to be won and this is what they're going to be biting do you ever in practice commit to not doing that even if you know that that's how it's going to be won are you, are you like i know this is going to how it's going to be won but i'm not doing it so i never know 100 percent how something's going to be won but when we go places there's chances of the ways that things are going to be won like we go to st john's there's a decent chance it's going to be one in the pads, you know, flipping pads or shell bars or whatever. They all have like a certain percent chance that they're going to win. Whichever one's the most likely is one that I try to fish for. Now, if we're on a lake and it's going to be one doing something that I'm not comfortable doing and not good at, even if it's like an 80% chance that's how it's going to be one, I'll take my chance of doing something else because just because that's how the tournament's most likely going to be won doesn't mean it's my best chances of winning that tournament because if i get on something off the wall or different or unique and i got it to myself that might be my best chance of winning the tournament even though it's a little bit against the grain so i do typically try to do whatever i think is going to win the tournament but at the end of the day you got to be as smart as you can be well time to get the boat wrapped we had a long drive, a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. But rain, traffic, driving around Atlanta, it's gonna happen. Oh, no. Got the camera. Who I know? This is your new camera. Dude. All right, we got a cat. We got a camera dude this year. Daily vlogs. Surprisingly vlogs. enough, we got We're a. Gonna try very hard for daily. Vlogs. We got a camera dude. Camera dude. Who's the camera dude? Today? I don't know. I have to ask him for it. Your camera, dude. Hold up. Is that a dome? That's good. That's good. Okay, he's playing game. Just now. Alright, this is day two of the daily vlogs. Day two. Mm -hmm. of, this is uh, going to be together. Because yesterday wasn't that long. Yeah. We didn't do much. Should be finishing up the boat route today. Should be. And then headed to Florida. So right now it's uh, extremely rainy, dreary, nasty, terrible outside. Just awful. But, gotta be done. Gotta get the boat wrapped. Then head to Florida where it's actually nice. So, what you want to eat, Hunter? I don't know. I want coffee. From where? I want to go for a walk. What are we doing now? We are going to the gym. It's packed out right now. Not the best gym to go to, but definitely the most accessible when you're on the road. So we keep a membership. We got coffee. We worked out. We got lunch. Now where are we at? We're headed to <clears throat> back to the boat wrap place. Check on the boat. Yep. So this is like probably our last chill day yeah maybe the day before okeechobee we'll get down there that morning and be able to hang out that evening but for the most part we're gonna be running after this mm -hmm. trying to catch them trying to get everything ready for the season for the tournaments to start and it's gonna be a lot of running from here on out no more sleep ins no more sleep ins nope no more of those we don't we don't ever sleep in real late but no more eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning getting up. So four o'clock from here on out. All right, so boat wrap is almost done. 
we're gonna pick it up tonight head to Florida and we'll do the boat walkthrough the wrap unveil new sponsor or two and then walk through exactly how I got the boat set up everything I'll be running Rod's reels I'm planning to use this year all that type of stuff will be tomorrow so you know that's about it we're gonna try to do more videos this year Hunter really likes filming especially unique stuff that's changing every single day so we're gonna do more kind of behind the scenes stuff this year we did some of it last year we're gonna do a little bit more and kind of just walk through what traveling's like daily life all that type of stuff but still do a lot of fishing because that is a big part of my daily life so boat wrap is almost complete putting some final touches on it i'll pick it up and then be fishing out of it hopefully tomorrow bright and early so looking forward to that it's cold up here where i'm at i'm gonna definitely make a run south in the old <laughs> truck what <laughs> like i'm on a lake fishing tournament interrupted by a truck but that's it i appreciate it guys if y'all like this type of content let me know below but from here on out we're going to be fishing last couple chill days before we got to start trying to catch some bass for money cash all that type of stuff so appreciate it guys if you have not subscribed already hit that subscribe button almost 70 percent of y'all are not subscribed so it's free just go click it appreciate it and we'll see y'all tomorrow doing the boat unveiling